I'm Kent, and you're watching Weekend Adventure Rides. This week, we are taking on this XR250 seat. We're gonna give it a, a little bit of a rebuild, and then we're gonna put a fresh new seat cover on it. Uh, let's get started on that now. All right, to get started on this build, we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna start getting all of the staples out to get the seat cover off. I'm just probably gonna use a flathead screwdriver. I also have some needle nose pliers and that should be really all we need. Hopefully these come out fairly easy. All right, so I've got the seat cover off. Now we're gonna pull this foam off. Uh, it's just glued on and it should just lift off pretty easily. Okay. And I think the plan's gonna be to actually keep the old foam. It's, it is looking a little rough in a few places, but I think it'll, that we can reuse it. Uh, you can replace these and I think uh, XRs only has these and they're less than $100, I think somewhere around $80. Um, but I don't think it's totally necessary to replace it. Like I said, the main part of the foam is intact. I need to clean this seat pan up. It's, uh, it's pretty gross, so let me get that washed up real quick. Seat pan's looking nice now. I'm just gonna take some alcohol and a rag and try to get all the old glue off of here. All right, so I got some 3M high strength uh, contact adhesive. Now with this, we're gonna shake it up. We're gonna put uh, one to three even coats on the uh, seat pan and then also on the foam. We wait one to two minutes after the last coat and then we're gonna press those together. We're gonna allow about 10 minutes for those to bond up really well. Very sticky. All right, so we have the seat foam all glued to the seat pan. Now, let's take a look at our new seat cover. So this is branded with the Honda emblems. Um, it's FMX, I don't know if it's a real FMX because it did come from South America. Uh, I bought it on eBay for around $80. The build quality is uh, not as good as the appearance. Um, I did notice that everything was single stitched and that's something that I have gone through and re-sewn all of the single stitches and then um, made sure that those weren't gonna pop free so uh, as far as quality, if I was going to say, uh, put a number on it, I guess, um, I think I'd give this probably a three out of five. Um, the material itself isn't bad, just they didn't really do any, uh, solid reinforced stitching. I think that's the biggest thing, but I like how it looks. I think it's going to look really good on the motorcycle. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got some quarter inch T50 staples just in a heavy duty stapler here. And the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and stretch the uh, front portion over. I've got it turned inside out right now, just kind of getting a look at, you know, how it's gonna fit. Make sure we line up kind of the center with this uh, center stitch here and this uh, first decal, not really decal, but patch that's on here. And then I'm just gonna stretch it down over the top. Again, making sure that we don't 
roll the foam uh, backwards. We want it to roll forward over the top of the, the seat pan. That's looking pretty good there. I think this is actually gonna turn out really nice. Definitely an upgrade from that, that old one that was on there. I wanna get all of the wrinkles out of this thing. I don't, I don't want it to have a single wrinkle in it and I want it to be perfectly centered. So I'm gonna take my time doing this. And of course we start at the front. We'll just go through and kind of wrap the edge here, fold it over. Another staple in there. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go over to the other side and then just continue down, making sure everything's even. As you go, just switching back and forth between each side. Just putting some stickers in there. I'm not doing a whole bunch as I go. I just wanna hold it on there and try to smooth out all of the material as I go down. Looks like I need to pull it a little bit more to this side. If you don't put a bunch of staples in there, you can go back through and make any changes you want to before you do any of the final, you know, going around and really getting it stuck on there. Okay, let's try this now. Okay, that looks a lot better to me. Okay, so it's looking pretty even now. Not really any places where it's bunched up. I'm gonna go back through, make sure everything gets tightened up now, and then put the remainder of our staples in. Make sure this thing doesn't go anywhere. All right, so this is the completed seat. I think it came out really nice. Um, the quality of the materials, I'm pretty happy with for the $80 price tag. Again, the stitching is not perfect, but we made it work. Um, did go through and uh, reinforce some of the seams along the front. But overall, I think it's gonna look really nice on the bike. And even though we use the old foam in there, it's still substantial. It's not really soft or really hard. I think we're gonna be totally happy with it. So if you found some value in this video, don't forget like, subscribe, and then uh, we'll see you next week.